What's going on guys? So I got a uh, interesting little uh, icon showing up on my screen right now that I wanted to share with you and uh, I think it's a new update but it looks like it's not an automatic update like normal. It uh, You have to actually do something with it so let's see what we have to do. Alright so like I said you've got this uh, this icon down here. Normally it's just a little down arrow with a little bracket, uh, but there's the uh, little hourglass symbol. So let's click on that. And it's a um, system update that you have to schedule. So um, basically what it says is, um, you know, you, you can schedule it uh, like for a future date or time or whatever. Um, or you could do it right now, but it's important because it says it'll take up to eight minutes, which is very specific. They could have just said 10, but whatever. Um, and the, uh, you know, you can't use the truck, uh, at all. So like it actually says you will not be able to use the vehicle. So, so just make sure you're in a place that you're good. You can, you know, be for a while. I, when I first saw this message, I was in a parking lot in a uh, mall or store or whatever. Um, I didn't really, just in case something went wrong, I didn't want to be stranded there. So I waited until I was in the driveway to do this. So let's see what happens when, if I do update now. Okay, so you won't be able to use the vehicle. Um, please exit and secure the vehicle. Okay, well, let's shut it off. Oh, there we go. So we got a timer. So weird thing happened while it was doing this preparing update. Um, the truck actually somewhat powered itself on. My dash cam turned on and my Bluetooth connected. So, uh, Kind of weird. Yeah, it sounds like it's just doing some like reboots because the dash cam just turned off and turned on again. So, um, which is pretty normal for software systems when they do updates, they have to, you know, um, you know, sometimes what they do is they load it into like an inactive image, you know, or a firmware file, and then they boot to it and unpackage it. And there's, you know, there's a lot of steps that are involved with, with upgrading firmware. So I'm not surprised that they, you know, may need to do some, some reboots here and there. Uh, you know, it's pretty typical. All right, so after those two reboots um, of the preparing update, now we're actually doing a, a real system update. So we'll see uh, see what happens next. Oh, that was weird. All the lights just flickered. It's kind of strange. It says, in case of emergency, exit the vehicle from the driver or front passenger door. Oh yeah, this whole thing is uh, rebooting. I wonder why you can't get out the back door. That's very strange. Well, that's a typical update. Flies through it and then hangs at 99%. All right, I th think it's done. Yep, seems like it's done. Yep, so we got the little download symbol with the check mark. So we were successfully updated. So. Oh, how strange. So I already had the recall done for the trailer brake controller. Oh, trailer not recognized. Let's see. We updated your trailer relay module to fix potential no trailer detected situation. Losing your trailer brakes. Huh. 
so I wonder very interesting because I wasn't uh, so if I looked up my VIN number uh, before even though I had the recall done at the dealer I was not getting the notification or not not the notification but the uh, you know the message saying that the recall had been done it was still showing that it was this recall 22s17 was still showing up as outstanding so I wonder if um, after doing that update at the dealer maybe this this update was also required um, very strange I uh, I was surprised to see that but yeah so um, you know it did update successfully and you know I'm not sure how long it took I wasn't really paying attention but it seemed like about eight minutes um, so yeah very uh, very interesting so hopefully you guys have seen this and uh, you know been able to figure it out um, for me you know it, it they could have made it a little more obvious. They could have made a pop-up saying, hey, there's an update available and you'll have to park your vehicle for, you know, 10 minutes or something. Um, if I hadn't seen that little download arrow with the, the, the little clock, I wouldn't even have, you know, thought twice about it because I would have been like, oh, okay, it's another update. You know, it'll do it automatically, no problem. Uh, but this one, you actually have to, you know, schedule and and go through and, and, and you know, park the truck and, and just wait for it to finish. So uh, hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, please hit that like button. And uh, otherwise, uh, you know, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.